when I was at home and the phone rang, it was Mercer Ellington. He said, listen, we've got a, uh, we need a trumpet player. And I called the union and they gave me your name. So I need a guy to play split lead and who can solo. I said, okay, is it a rehearsal? He said, no rehearsal. Come in and sight read everything. He said, and don't shake hands with anybody until after the show is over. We don't want the audience to know that you're brand new. So I did it, it was just for one night. And he said, can you go to the next town, which was Lorraine, I think, because we were at Ravana at the um, carousel, I think. And so we went to Lorraine and another town in Ohio, Toledo, I think. And then we went to Detroit. He said, can you join the band? Yeah, okay. So I was playing Cootie's book, Cootie Williams. And uh, it was crazy. What's nice about it is you're playing Take the A Train. I've been playing this for a long time in other bands. This is the band that it originated in. So man, it was magic. Yeah, sight reading is something. Where you get a fresh chart, you, they put it down in front of you, and you read it the best you can and try not to make any mistakes. But that happened every week at Leo's Casino. They brought charts in with different people. You uh, have that morning to rehearse, and the show goes on that night, and it better be tight. It's, an, it's a never-ending story, music. Each week is something new. Each day is something new. It's just for you to be ready for it. I just take it as it comes and hope you can make it. You know, it's not always successful, but most of the times it is.